man we got kayaks loaded up live perch we come up into kansas chatopa kansas we're gonna put in and do an overnighter back into oklahoma fish and log jams try to pull out some flathead out of the kayak so we'll be back after we get loaded up or unloaded all right we're getting ready to shove off in the Osho overnight trip for some flathead see if we have any luck you already look a lot better Hold me back. Don't hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't yeah. resist. Gosh, I'm sorry. You had me on that one. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> oh, you look a lot better this time, Josh. I feel a lot better. I don't feel like I'm falling over. Did you tie your boat up? Huh? You got your boat tied up to you? All right, I'm gonna get in my boat, get my pedal. Oh, I'm laughing and I gotta get my, there we go. I'm laughing Come on, baby. It's all behind me. All right, you get gone, I'll make sure you can get up the hill before all right, we'll call you. Thanks, baby. Yeah. Oh, Obviously, this is uncharted territory, so I don't know what side of the river you need to run or anything like that. I'm sinking, I'm sinking. I'm sinking. Josh has already capsized. Off to a, gr off to a great start. That walkie-talkie get soaked? Not to my knowledge, no. Me. No. Why don't you bring not waterproof walkie-talkies? <laughs> well, I bought not waterproof walkie They're Gibsons. Yeah, uh, you're all good. Turn this camera on. We come to a, a shallow right here on this curve. We're almost to Oklahoma, but easier for us to get out and wade them through and we get up here to deeper water. But there's all sorts of channel cats swimming in these shallows of course we got to get about another oh, three quarter of a mile we'll be in Oklahoma and we can legally cast a line so of course we're playing by the rules like we do so, we'll see you back on when we get to Oklahoma well we're back Cut through those shallows. We'll come around this bend and it's about another. Uh, looks like on the map, it looks like it's about a quarter mile. So I'm just floating and waiting on Josh to catch up with me. He's, he's back behind me a quarter mile or so. And we're talking on the walkie talkie. So I'm just going to float real slow and let this current take me until he catches up. And, we should be to camp before too awful long. Well, I was going to whitewater raft uh, 
off this shelf right here. Got a water pool. Oh. I don't want to capsize my stuff, so. I was going to. I was going to try to brave that rapid right there. Didn't happen. A little further. A little further we go. Well, we made it to Oklahoma. We're at the Oklahoma Kansas line here by GPS coordinate. We decided to stop, take a break. We're gonna rehydrate. And I don't know if we're gonna fish these log jams, but we've decided to, to beach our kayaks here and uh, get in and cool off a little bit. It's hot, that wind is absolutely brutal on us coming out of the south. We're trying to paddle right into it. We got about another mile to camp, so we're coming out here and we're going to cool off. This is a lot better. Rest and cool off and then we'll get back underway. Alright, we're gonna try to navigate. We got a big log jam that we're gonna try to maneuver through. I want to see how this goes. Hopefully it goes smooth and then we got a portage up across part of it. And camp is only about 200 yards away. But, we got to try to get it through this. Now if the water was higher, this would be a perfect spot for flathead catfish and all these root bowls and stuff. But, water's not very deep here. So we're going to try to, try to go right through here and keep the front Don't do that part now just power through here said we get up this next log jam up here and we're gonna have to carry it across because there's no way around it I don't think not that we seen we got out and kind of walked up and scouted we didn't see anything but once we get past there we're clear sailing until we get around there so we'll be back should be at camp well, we made it to where we're gonna set up camp tonight. It's not super deep on that channel edge over there, but it's deep enough. I think we'll have some luck later at night. We're gonna go and maybe hit that log jam later, that one over there, kind of float around. It gets kind of shallow back that way. We decided we're gonna start setting up camp right here on this gravel bar. And uh, get us a fire ready, eat, and get set up. So here's where we'll stay for the night. Carp or something. No, it's a tail. Or it's a blue or a tail, maybe. I don't want it to. It's a blue. 
He took it down like a flathead. God, you got two big blues. Okay, if he goes to run, I'm gonna let go of the line. That's fine. I... I'm gonna keep him up that long. He's in fish grips. Put your hand down there and he's not watch that hook, but oh, oh, hey. oh I got a scratch on my leg now. That hook should be in the corner. His bait just came off. I can't see. Where the hook's at? Yeah. Reach in there and just lip him. I'm trying. If you can, because that hook's on that side. There you go. Fish on. Got him on live perch. Yeah. If you had him hooked good, I'm gonna let you fight that hook out. I'll get it out of him. He can't tell if he's bigger than the other one or same size. About the same size, probably the same I fish. I about three of those to put in my freezer and put in my good bag. eater size. I'm after a I'm after about a 40 to 100 pound flathead. So I'll get him off of here and we'll turn him back loose so we can catch him another day with the kids. Let the kids fish after him. Here, got him on a, on a circle hook. He just took it down hard and I reeled down to him. He was on there. What was that, live or dead? That was a live perch is what that was that I caught him on. So I'll take him here. I'll get mud washed off of him. We'll see if he... And I'll let him go back into the old Neosho River. And here we go. It's fun. That's what it's all about. Man, save that because that is... That is flathead bait right there. Absolutely.